Hello and welcome to Global Market Bulletin TV. Today we're back with Geert Kirsten, CEO of CellSci, to discuss recent news with the company. Since we last spoke in November of 2022, your company is traded under the NASDAQ symbol CVM. Now, Geert, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit more about CellSci for those who are not familiar with your work as a pioneer in cancer immunotherapy? Well, thank you so much for, first of all, having me on here and giving me the chance to tell you what our crazy little company does. Remember, really big advances are generally created by small companies. And what we seek to do is we want to introduce immunotherapy as a first treatment. Right now, if you think of people who've had cancer, it's surgery or radiation or chemo as the first treatment. Most people would like to avoid those. We say the body has the innate ability to fight back. However, Immunotherapy, which by now is very accept accepted in the treatment of cancer, immunotherapy is typically used after you have failed surgery, radiation, chemo. That makes no sense to us. You should use it while the immune system is healthy. And that is what we have been dedicated to. And we are now at the stage where we're applying for regulatory approval. That's very exciting. Now, most recently, the company announced that it has held a productive pre-submission meeting with Canada's regulator to determine the best regulatory path toward market approval. So based on the existing data that was summarized and presented, Health Canada advised CellSci to request advanced consideration for approval under a notice of compliance with conditions policy. Can you give us an update regarding that information and any executive commentary regarding that news? So you want me to make it easier, right? Because we have, most people don't even know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> there is something called a conditional approval. So our study showed huge four-year survival benefit in a disease, head and neck cancer, where no one has shown survival benefit in decades. And literally the top drugs have been failing one after another in the, in the past few years. So we have a four-year survival benefit. We have no toxicities. We have no safety issues. But... It doesn't work when you add chemo. So if this study had been done without chemo, which is not possible, people would have said, my gosh, you're so golden. You know, we'd be trading in the billions. But it has chemo in it. So therefore, it suddenly introduces questions, which doesn't make any sense to me as a normal person. But so I accept that. They, that's what a conditional approval is for, where they see clear benefit that you're helping people and they want to bring the drug to the market, but they have questions. And so that will depend. We think that it may very well be the same in the US where it's called accelerated approval. At least we think it should be. And, uh, or, and Europe also, we fit all of the regulations perfectly. So what it means is you come to market and you have to do something after you know, once it's on the market to confirm its benefit, to answer the questions that people have. Yeah. And in fact, by the way, k and Optivo, the two leading cancer drugs in the world, have come to market through an accelerated or conditional approval for most of their indications. CellSci also presented new data from its pivotal phase three study, the largest study ever conducted in newly diagnosed locally advanced squamous cell carcinoma of the head and neck, or SCH, excuse me, SCCHN, on March 8th, 2023. So just a little over a month or so ago at the 10th European Congress on Head and Neck Oncology in Lisbon, Portugal. That data included the revelation of 43% survival extension, which was another major milestone for your phase three trial. What can you tell us about that data, including the median overall survival improvement of 46 and a half months, nearly four years, and how nearly one of every six patients had their tumors shrink by more than 30% in just three weeks prior to surgery versus no reported tumor shrinkage in the control group? Let's make it simple. Control group has no tumor shrinkage, no tumor responses. Literature says this tumor never goes away by itself, never gets smaller by itself. You give our drug in three weeks, which is really short for any cancer drug, but we're not allowed to do, give it longer than because we can't delay the surgery. So in three weeks, you've got people whose tumors are, are gone, completely gone as confirmed by pathology. 
and others where the tumor has it has to be more than 30 percent small that's a huge deal now the question is okay many people have gotten approval on these kinds of tumor responses and then they're supposed to do confirmatory studies for survival in our case we actually know for sure with amazing statistics that if you have a tumor response your survival is in the range of 80 to 85 percent versus about 48 percent down here which one would you rather be right for a disease where no one has been able to extend survival head and neck cancer it's like the worst weed in your backyard yeah. right we've all weeded and we think we're doing very well and we're going deep we're using tools etc and the stuff comes right back that's what head and neck cancer is and the interesting thing immunotherapy like Ketrude and Optivo while they are approved with small benefit for super sick patients after surgery radiation chemo immunotherapy has not been successful in head and neck cancer it's been super successful in lung cancer and melanoma but not here it's just a different beast of an animal so you as long as you don't add the chemo it gives you this tremendous survival benefit in a disease that's a clear unmet medical need now does it do it for everybody no there is no cancer cure why because we're different you're genetically different from me I respond differently and you know we seek to you know all you have to do is add it there's no toxicity added maybe you'll be one of the six and by the way we have also data that even if you're not one of you know those people who have that tumor response you still have a survival benefit so this however like I said before when you do something new you always face more questions it takes longer to answer those questions and so you can let's say if you were to run into problems what do you do you want to go and get into fight and appeal in the agencies no you seek the path of least resistance like water so okay if someone wants us to do extra clinical studies we're happy to do extra clinical studies we're happy to answer your questions but it's not possible and it's not ethical to have us do all these studies and then bring the drug to market because we've shown too much benefit in a disease that kills too many people by the way I won't even talk about it well why I've already started you know how they treat people they cut their tongues out they cut half of people's faces off it's the most barbaric treatment and by the way all the surgeons will agree with that so everybody agrees we need to do better therefore our job is to find the way forward with the regulators if they want me to jump through this hoop and then that hoop we'll do it we just have to help patients now the study also showed that five patients treated with multikine had their tumors completely disappear in just three weeks that tumor shrinkage or disappearance altogether in three weeks significantly reduced the death rate what do you feel is the current biggest problem and market opportunity in immunotherapy and cancer treatment that cell Sci corporation is working to address this year look head and neck cancer the standard of care has been surgery either followed by radiation or radiation plus chemotherapy all right this is advanced primary head and neck cancer everybody is supposed to be treated along their sides it hasn't changed in ages there's been no improvement if we're successful in helping those people who had scheduled to get the radiation it's well over 200,000 people a year we showed that we can save 14 out of 100 people imagine that look at think of a group of 100 people 14 can be saved by us with no toxicity and no safety issues that is what it's all about in the end and money comes from helping people that's we think we can help people so we have to now go through whatever the process is the Canadians gave us the path the Canadians said we understand that there's great benefit for these patients we also see your studies different from anything we've seen before so conditional is the best way to go the European regulations I mean I have them here I'm not going to bother reading them to you but you have to show 
that the risk benefit balance of the medicine is positive, that you can do follow on studies, that it's an unmet medical need, and that the medicine's immediate availability to patients is greater than the risk inherent in the fact that additional data is needed. It now, seems obvious to me that we fit all of those requirements too. Sure, sure. You had mentioned money a few moments ago um, in terms of multi-kind for head and neck cancer. What can investors look forward to in the next six <laughs> to 12 months? It's all about bringing the drug to market. The beautiful thing is this, we're very much de-risked, right? The big risk in a biotech company is, you know, what will the data show? Will the drug even work? Well, you see it very clearly. It's multi years of life extension, right? Tumors going away and no toxicities, no safety issues. So that's been de-risked. All you have to be thinking about is, will this drug come to market and by which pathway? Uh, it's very clear from past experiences, the last few decades, every cancer drug that, that extends survival is worth a few billion dollars. Okay, so therefore we have to get it to market. We're currently worth $100 million. Now, we all recognize it's a bad biotech market, but again, it doesn't change anything. You have to get the drug to market. Canadians give us the path forward. We hope to meet with the uh, Americans this summer, the Europeans in the fall, and we hope to have the validation of the manufacturing facility finished. And so by the end of the year, we should be in a much, much more solid position. Very exciting stuff. Geert, I want to thank you so much for joining us. This has been extremely informative. Could you please let our audience know where they can follow up to find more information? Uh, so our stock symbol, we're in the New York Stock Exchange, CVM, uh, Charles, Virginia, Maryland, because we have facilities in both of those. And it's the website is obviously www.cellsci, C-E-L, and then a horizontal dash S ci.com um, call us send us emails with questions we live with the support of so many people out there our idea has only survived because so many people help us and i thank everybody here kirsten thank you so much for your time and we look forward to monitoring your progress and your company's progress thank you again for speaking with us we're going to catch up with you very soon thank you so much and have a wonderful day